Hello and welcome back. Today's episode features some of the biggest Brain 200 IQ plays. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and submit some smart plays of your own, and let's hop right back in with Hakali and a genius backdoor. Oh my god, watch this. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> the ward bait never fails against the support main. Next up, we got Lekalex finding a golden opportunity. Ready for a little spicy combo? Is this luck or calculated? You tell me, but all I'm saying is Z99 really only wanted that juicy wave. Yeah, that face says it all. Okay, next up we got Mr. Satrapa predicting very far into the future. Out very cleanly, and as you already pointed out, I think that the oh, let's go in. Oh, buff the uh, the just let's see it one more time. The second he sees Gory go for the shuffle, he's already buffering out that dash. Oh, uh -huh. right. no flash required. She's amazing, she comes for you, it claims you. Check out the brain on the Shaco. Watch him control his clone off screen so he can snap it right back to his side.
not know that. I did not know that. The Art of the Steel is all about preparation. Thanks to Ocean Soul, Mr. Flakito is able to hide a ward over here and bait Thresh into clearing it as he stealths onto the Blast Cone, giving him the perfect opening to dodge Thresh's ward. Beautiful Steel next up, here's Leon Hua with a little bit of Shun Po trickery. Watch how he places his dagger. Yeah, old Katarina did not have that much freedom with her Shen pose. Coming up next, we've got a massive play by Thunder Talk to completely open up Ultra Prime's base. Gonna potentially look for this, uh, uh, uh the charge. Rift Heart again on towards the tier 3, but they're Wait. gonna move it mid. Oh, oh, the Rail Warp! Rail the Rail Warp! warp to brilliant! TT so Shen. Oh, yeah, that was great. And now they get three charges off of Shelly. That is actually big, right? You're going in. Check out the way Burial abuses the Fog of War to the max. Did you see how many autos she made Kindred cancel? Let's see it again from Kindred's POV. Kindred has no vision here so she can't hit her in the bush and after the knockup she flashes out of vision. This was perfectly played by Riven here as well, walking against the wall of using that extended auto range from her ult. Man, they did three dashes. Ela ficou mesmo a pensar que.
Huge. I got it, I got it. Boom. Divide and Conquer is the name of the game. Mad Lions has Kaiser on the sneakiest flank, but watch how Humanoid and Karzi warp in and split Rogue down the middle, throwing them into confusion. It's so important, but they're gonna walk straight into well, he's no The rest of the team is just not there yeah, at the exactly. moment. Now Kaiser can look for it's it. Give me Ignar vibes! Oh, he hex flashes away, but Kaiser goes oh, in. Oh, he goes in! They look for it! The shot wave, the round one from behind on the corner of the portrait coming out as well, but Lars is straight into waiting arms of armor. Lars is still alive! Humanoid has the flank, Kazi's down! It's all on Humanoid and armor to put the damage down here as Avelios has already gone down. He's in the GA, now he's dead! Odo Amne trying to get away! Inspired running one way, Lars on the other! Mad Lion battled in. Gorgeous positioning by Humanoid and Karzi too, standing on either edge of the realm warp, completely juking out Larson's shockwave. Thank you all so much for watching. That is going to do it for today's episode all on 200 IQ plays. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you do want to see some more. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful day.